Nicole and I'm the owner of Willow Mint Props. If you aren't familiar with my brand, you can definitely check me out on all your favorite social media platforms at Willow Mint Props. Today's video is gonna be about two of my favorite sewing machines. They're actually brother brand and they have a permanent space in my sewing room and I use them all the time. If you think that you're gonna be making an investment in a sewing machine, this is definitely worth the watch. Okay, so let's jump into the first machine, which is my brother XR9500 PRW. Um, this is actually a limited edition. Um, it's by Project Runway, and I love this machine. I've personally had it for about four years. And um, yeah, let's go into the pros. Okay, so let's get into the features of the Project Runway edition. It is a sewing machine, but it's also an embroidery machine, and it has 100 unique stitches. It also does have one built-in font. The cool thing about this is you can monogram. So this just pops right up and you can see all of the different fonts and numbers and even some symbols. One of the reasons why I got this machine is that it has quite a bit of stitches to choose from. With the prop sewing, I obviously need a variety of things. I also make nursing pads, so there's a very specific stitch that I use for my nursing pads, and it was not a stitch that I could find on a bunch of different machines, so I was very happy that this machine had all the stitches that I needed. The great part about this machine is that it has a computerized screen. Now with the computerized screen, you can switch the numbers and you have the number of the stitch over here and then you can just use these two buttons to change to whatever stitch that you need to get to. Now I'm sure that you saw um, stitch 19 is foot J. So you know the foot that you use to sew with it has the letter on the foot and it tells you according to what stitch that you're choosing which foot you need. So it's very clear, that's awesome. So when I switch to 29, you can see that it says foot N. So I would have to go and change my foot. And the great thing is that the manual will tell you all the functions of each foot that you have. And over here, you can switch the length of your stitches and you can adjust the width of your stitches. So if you're doing a zigzag stitch, then you can make it wider with this, adjusting the numbers here. And the length of your stitch, you can adjust with these two buttons right here. Another really cool feature about this sewing machine is that you have this slider over here and you can actually adjust the speed of your sewing. So if you have a project that you need to go really slow on and you wanna make sure that you don't press the sewing pedal super hard and accidentally go really fast, you can adjust this and no matter how hard you press on the pedal, you're gonna go that speed. Over here you have your button, which adjusts the position of your needle. So right now it's in the up position, and when I press this, it's in the down position. When you're sewing, it actually stays in the down position every time you stop sewing. And so you have to press this button and it lifts the needle up. And I actually like that feature because sometimes you don't want to lose the position of where your needle is. And I like that it stays down and that all I have to do is press this button instead of moving this knob over here. And of course you have your, your backwards motion so that you can um, go back on your stitching. And this feature is also in replace of your pedal. So let's say you don't have your pedal going, you can go ahead and press this button and it will actually sew for you. 
This machine has a 25 year limited parts warranty. I've actually had to take my machine in for servicing at one point. And the great part about Brother is that you can contact them and they will let you know who can service your machine. And when you take it over there, your first service was free. Another thing that I love about this machine is that it is lightweight. It's very easy to carry around. It comes with a hard cover so that you can protect your machine. Most machines are very heavy and clunky. I love that this machine is light. Another thing that I love about this machine is the threading system. Now, because it has this button right here that puts the needle in the correct position, that means you don't have to use your knob over here to adjust the needle to where it needs to be to use this threading system. It automatically is in the correct spot. So all I have to do is put this right here and boom, it just pulls it right through. It's super easy, much easier than most machines that I've used. It also has a bobbin winder up here, so you're able to wind your bobbin after you run out of thread on your bobbin. And the bobbin system down here is very easy to put in. You just put in your bobbin and you literally follow the numbers that are right here, go around this thing and pull, and it actually cuts the thread for you right here. And you can just start sewing, voila. This machine can sew most fabrics, but when you get into the very heavy, thick fabrics, it does tend to skip a few stitches. Another great thing about this machine is that the manual is extremely descriptive and if you are inheriting this machine as a secondhand machine, the manual is actually online. So you can go to the Brother website and look up the manual that way. And it also does come with a DVD. This machine also has the ability to use universal parts, which is really good because if Brother doesn't have that specific foot right here for this machine um, because you want to do a fancy type of stitch or anything like that. You have the ability to use universal parts for this machine, universal needles. The only thing I can say is that I stick with the correct bobbins. So I do get brother bobbins because brother bobbins tend to be very flat on the top of them. And so that is the only thing that I make sure that I purchase from Brother is the actual bobbins that come with this machine because uh, I've used curved bobbins before and they don't really work that well. I can't really say there's too many cons to this machine. The only thing I can say is that it can't do very thick materials because it does tend to skip stitches. And when you turn on the machine, it always resets to the very first stitch, which is zero, zero. Maybe someone else might find that annoying, but to me, it's not bad. It is a digital sewing machine, so it's quite obvious that you have the ability to change the numbers up here and see what you're doing. So I don't mind that it resets when I turn the machine off. The only other con that I can think of is that when you turn the machine off, it doesn't remember your last settings. But with it being a digital screen, it makes it very easy for you to go back to the last settings that you were at. And again, this machine is, is fantastic. I use it every single day. It works like a horse. It is a very hardworking machine and I've had it for several years. It's done me good. So if you're looking for a sewing machine that is low maintenance, lightweight, has lots of options and great features, this machine is definitely on the top of my list. Okay, so the next machine I'm going to talk about is the Lock 1034D. I use this machine on a daily basis too. I love this thing. If you're not familiar with what a serger machine is, if you are going to take sewing seriously, this is something that you might want to invest in to give that finishing touch to your garments. If you were to look inside of your shirt right now, you're gonna see that the edges are nicely finished with this type of stitch. 
And that's what this machine does. Pretty much it finishes all the edges on the inside so you don't have any raw edges that can fray inside of your outfits, your garments that you're sewing. This is something that I actually invested in years later. I just love it. I have no regrets. One thing that I love about this machine, it is extremely easy to thread. I'm gonna open this up so you can take a look. Now, older machines, there wasn't really any color coding, but of course, brother decided to color code it and add photos and numbers, so it's extremely easy to thread. I can do it within minutes. The wonderful thing about this is that the numbers on the knob make it very easy for you to know where to adjust. I even have the manual right here. This is the average stitch that I use for everything. It tells you what number to put each thing on so that you can create that stitch that's in the picture. And so this one right here, which is this yellow knob, it comes all the way down and it is for the first needle. This one is for the second needle. This one is over here that is for your upper looper, so your upper loop, and this one is for your lower looper. So again, it ju you just follow the directions, the arrows, and it's threaded in seconds. For people that are not familiar with sergers, there is actually a blade right here. So as you're sewing and you're finishing your edges and it's running through here, it's going to cut a nice clean edge on your material so that it's finished off nicely. And I have all the same colors up here. I usually just serge with one color on most of my garments unless I'm serging something that is black and you may see the light colored thread through on the other side if it's a sheer material. But most times I just leave it with one neutral color for everything. There's two needles here. These two needles are optional. If you wanted to make a thinner finish, then you would just remove this left needle and you can make a thinner edge. The machine comes with DVDs that you can take a look at and it can show you all the different finishes that you can do to all of your garments. Um, sometimes you don't want to fold your edge over. Sometimes you just want to put a nice little hem on the edge. And so this DVD shows you how to adjust your machine so that you can do all these amazing stitches. Okay, so I'm going to explain the knobs on the side of this machine. This is pretty much where you can control all of your stitches and whatever's going on. I know it looks like a lot. When I first got my machine, I had no clue what these things were, but I'm going to give you a little rundown on what they are. So this first knob over here, this controls the feed dogs. Um, if you're wondering what the heck is a feed dog? Well, when you're actually surging, there's these little feeds down here and they're actually in two different pieces. And so this will help you so that you can control how fast or slow the fabric is going through the machine. So if you increase it, then it will make the feed dogs go faster and create the material to gather. So it'll push the material together and it will start gathering. Now, if you decrease it, what it's gonna do is actually make the fabric go slower in the front. And why would you want it to go slower? Because maybe you're using a chiffon or a very delicate fabric and it tends to pucker a lot. So this is gonna slow it down so that it can sew that delicate fabric properly. Now, when it comes to this one, this has to do with your stitch length. And of course, I have it set on what Brother says it should be set on for most fabrics. And if you want your stitch length to be longer, then you would move it this way. If you want your stitch length to be shorter, you would move it this way. This button over here, it stops your blade from cutting. So right now, I have it switched to uh, cutting and if you don't want the serger to cut your fabric while you're sewing Then you would just move it right over there and that will lock the blade in place so that it cannot cut the fabric 
And over here, this affects the width of your stitch. So if you want your stitch to be very thin, so if you're doing maybe a rolled edge um, with a very thin chiffon and you just want it to be super thin or a super thin hem, you would move it this way. And if you want your stitch to be super wide, then you would increase the number. Well, that wraps it up for the Brother 1034D serger. Again, I love this machine. I use it every single day. It's super easy. Brother did their thing on this machine because they color coded it and made it very easy to thread. I'm not gonna lie, before getting a serger, I was super intimidated by the threading of four different cones and you know, looking on the inside of it. But Brother definitely helped us out by, you know, making very easy illustrations on the inside and color coding everything so that it makes it very easy to thread and use. All right, Minties, I hope this video was extremely informative and that it helped you make a decision on the right sewing machine for your sewing room. Um, you can check me out on all your favorite social media platforms at Willamette Props. Don't forget to go to my website where you can see my new blog. And if you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.